You're going to see about a $7 million project, I think about $6.9 million. Uh, of that, the city we're putting in about $1.4 million. MGM is footing the rest of the bill. And Mr. Kennedy and Mr. Dixon and Mr. Sigdon will get more specifics on the infrastructure improvements that are going to be occurring to the uh, roadway, a uh, walkway uh, areas, the aesthetic quality. What I am looking to continue to do, you're going to have thousands and thousands of people matriculating in downtown Springfield uh, from Union Station, MGM, the Basketball Hall of Fame, the Dr. Seuss Museum. We're going to harness that. So not only the vehicular traffic, but probably more importantly, the pedestrian traffic from Union Station all the way down to our south end uh, area, uh, that we're going to make it clean and safe, aesthetically pleasing, and we want people with a rare walkable downtown to move about. We're going to be welcoming thousands and thousands of people on a regular basis, and not only do we have to have it look safe and clean and bright and polished, uh, we also have to have a very hospitable and welcoming type of a downtown. Um, it's critical that we do this, and for, for the simple way to put it, it makes common sense. Uh, at MGM, um, we, we continue to stand with the city and its, uh, and its residents in our shared vision for a revived downtown and, uh, and a stronger Springfield. Uh, I'm here representing Mike Mathis, uh, who's the president of, of MGM Springfield, and it's our team's pleasure to, to work with Kevin, Chris, uh, and the mayor um, and uh, <coughs> other members of the team uh, to talk through the improvements that we're making along the way. Uh, uh, as the mayor noted, uh, we've uh, invested five and a half million dollars in this initiative uh, and together with our city partners, uh, we will make sure that the work is done uh, in a timely and efficient manner.